Hey everyone, this is Mike from Elite Auto Island in Bridgeport, Ohio. My phone number is 740-633-8888. What I have for you today is a beautiful 2005 Volkswagen Jetta TDI turbo diesel. I'm going to do a quick review of the vehicle, show you the inside, start it up for you, tell you about some of the features. Um, vehicle is a one owner, has all the original books, has the original window sticker. TDI back in 2005 and this is actually kind of like a 2005 and a half this is the first year that they released this body style um, and it has 128,000 miles on it like I said it is a one owner um, and if you know anything about these Jettas these are the ones you want to get for fuel economy I've had this vehicle now for uh, about a week and a half and I've been driving it around myself and right now gas mileage wise and i'll show you on the computer here computer shows i'm averaging 49 miles to the gallon which in these cars is very easy to do um, the 1.9 liter turbo diesel is one of the most efficient motors that volkswagen made and uh it's just a gas sipping car i mean you could fill up the tank and go over 700 miles on one tank of gas um, it's really an awesome gas saving ride this one is a five speed too which also helps out a little bit but let me show you any imperfections on it first off i mean going up on the vehicle you'll see that you know you're gonna have your little rock chips and things in the hood with 128,000 miles it's got a couple small little scratches too one dent in the bumper right here a little bit of stress fracturing there right there on the uh chrome plastic piece uh headlights are slightly faded not too bad though. Got a few rock chips on the mirrors. I'm going down the side of the body, no major dents, just a few little rock chips here and there. You know, something like this. These ones right here. A couple on the side of the door here. Also a few on their back door. A little scratch right here. The only thing maintenance wise I really had to do to it was uh, I needed a torque strut bar on the on the motor and what the torque strut bar is keeps it had a little bit of vibration when you let off the clutch and that's what was causing it a couple more little pinholes um, so that fixed that up this one does have a little small trailer hitch on it I guess for towing light things you wouldn't want to tow very much in this car A few little scratches in the bumper. And a couple little scratches on the deck lid, nothing too major. Overall, real clean car. No major dents, dings, things like that. A couple little scratches on the door on that side. Tires, I would say. Eh. A little bit tighter on the back, they're probably around 60%, maybe 50%. Go ahead, I'll show you the inside. It does come with, it's like a premium package. It comes with the um, sunroof. It comes with the leather interior. This has both heated drivers and passenger seats. Power windows, power door locks. 6 CD changer in the dash, has rain sensing windshield wipers so that you can sense, you know, it automatically runs the windshield wipers for you, which is a really cool feature. You have all your power steering options, you got your uh, mirror controls, trunk release. Oh, also before I sit down, I want to show you the only place in the interior that I saw where there's some damage, which is right here. It's like there's a cut on the back of the seat. I'm sure this could be repaired by repairing this side of the bolstering. Um, it's not really that noticeable though, so I didn't really repair it. Like I said, this one is a 5 speed. Go ahead and start it up for you. You can hear the motor. I've drove this in some pretty cold conditions and it fires up every time. This isn't like your old mom and pop diesel that never would fire up when it was hot or when it was cold out. And had a rough time running I mean you start this thing up it has the same operations as uh, as a gas car hell when you close everything up 
Also, here's your radio. Sounds really good. Has your automatic climate controls also set up for dual. Um, but yeah, here's what I've been averaging 49 miles per gallon. And as you can see how much fuel in it, there's just about uh, three quarters of a gallon and you're still gonna get 210 miles out of this tank of gas where it's sitting right now. I mean, it just gets amazing gas mileage. And that's over 704 miles that I've ran in this car. And like I said, we've been averaging 49. Actually, I can get it right around 49.8, typically. It's not hard to do. Just if you drive, you know, conservatively. Go ahead and just rev it up for you. Here, the turbo's pulling up there. Fast revving motor, it's got a lot of torque. Um, I was definitely surprised on the power it had for being such a small motor. Let me show you under the hood real quick. And there's your 1.9 liter turbo diesel motor. So as you can hear, it's not all that loud. I'm talking normally over top of it. You can hear me just fine. Um, auto checks those zero accidents. So if you guys are looking, if you, this would make a great commuter car, a great work car. Anybody who's looking to save money with gas being the price um, that it is right now, this is the car that you want. I mean, this is a fuel efficient car that'll get you from point A to point B in style. I mean, it has all the nice luxuries and uh, they're great cars, folks. Uh, they, you, you maintain them, they'll run forever. So if you have any questions, though, give me a call. My name's Mike, 740-633-8888. You can also reach me online at EliteAutoOutlet, gmail.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.